Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use SalesView's table map and reservation feature. This feature will allow you to start orders based on a table, assign seat numbers, take online reservations, and manage these reservations. First let me show you how to use our table map feature. You can create your table map under table reservations and layout management. Simply click on add to add a new table, name this table something. You can set up maximum capacity and even change the shape uh, of this table. You can click and drag this table wherever you see fit. Save your layout and now you're ready to start orders based on a table. So touch on your table map icon, select the table you want to start and add products to this order. You can assign seat numbers to your customers and to the drinks and food they order. These seat numbers will then show up on the kitchen receipt. Your orders will stay open until you take the full payment. So if you need to start a new order or a table, simply touch on new order or select a new table from your table map. Green tables are available and red ones are currently occupied by customers. You can go back to your original order anytime, add more products to it, or check out. As I mentioned before, our table map and reservation feature will also help you easily manage your reservations and accept online reservations made on your website. So if a customer calls in to make a reservation, you can very simply register this into the system. Touch on Add Appointment, search for the date, indicate how many people will be coming and select one of these time options. You will be creating these time options yourself from the back end. At this time you will be prompted to select a customer from your existing list of customers or you can also create a new customer. You can fill out as much or as little information as you need. In our case I'm going to simply select an existing customer. Now when I hit continue it is going to save this reservation and the customer will also receive an email notification about his reservation. Then when the customer shows up for their reservation, all you need to do is find their reservation here in the system, hit receive, and assign them a table. Now we see that this table 14 is occupied, so I'm going to touch on it and add some products to their order. Another way of making a reservation would be online on your website. Again, the customer needs to find a date, indicate how many people will be coming, select the time, fill out their information, and follow the steps. At this time, you will get notified about a new reservation by email and a notification on your payment devices. The new reservation will be also added into the calendar and reservation management on your POS. So now let me show you how this is all set up. First, you will need to create time slots for the available times that you want to accept reservations. Let's say I wanted to accept dinner reservations between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. I would need to create time slots for each of these times. My first time slot would start at 6 and end at 7. You also need to put in your maximum capacity for your entire restaurant. You can make this recurring to save you some time. You can also assign specific table for this time slot. In our case we can simply skip this step. Under schedules you can check any reservations made for any day. Yellow slots are open and green would be booked. Under payment options, you can decide whether you want to take an advanced payment for online reservations. If you want your customers to have the ability to make reservations on your website, you will need to set up a widget to post to your website. Make sure that the widget width matches your page width. You can change any settings here on the left side, plus the preview here is fully functional so that you can see how this works and what it looks like. 
String translations will allow you to translate the widget into a different language, and under general settings, you can select what devices will have access to the table map and what devices will receive reservation notifications. Allowing sub-resources will enable you to use seat numbers. You can set up a minimum time required to make a reservation to ensure that there are no last-minute reservations if you don't want those. You can turn on and off the reservation notification that goes both to the customer and these indicated email addresses. I hope this video helped you understand how to use our table map and reservation feature. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call us at 888-900-5819.